The Reg Veda supports the Aryan invasion theory. Reg Veda is one of the four sacred books of Hinduism called Vedas. Reg Veda is made up of two words. Reg, which means praise or shine, and Veda, knowledge. In other words, Reg Veda means the shining knowledge. Critics of the Aryan invasion theory claim that the Reg Veda does not support an Indo-Aryan invasion of India. But this is not true. The Reg Veda is a document that records the invasion of India by the Aryans. The Reg Veda is concerned with Vedic ethnic cleansing. Ethnic cleansing is when one population decides they're going to get rid of another population through genocide. The Vedic ethics of ethnic cleansing was concerned with erasing the non-Aryan people of India. To the Arya, the non-Aryans, Dasyas, Dasas, Rashas, and Asuras were to be eliminated because, one, they were fighting to protect their property and wealth. Two, they refused to contribute to yajna, or animal sacrifices of the Aryans. They refused to worship the yajna, fed gods of the Aryans. They spoke languages unintelligible to the Aryans. And finally, the Aryans were against the Indian people because of the dark color of the non-Aryans and flat noses that they often offended the noble Aryans. Indra was called Puramdar, the fort destroyer. Indra is very important to the history of the Aryan people. Indra was the god who was leading the Aryans into India to help them take the land and find wealth and booty. The Aryan invasion theory states that Aryan-speaking people invaded India around 1200 BC, defeated Dravidian and other native Indian people, and began to rule India. Hindutva and other Indian nationalists claim the Rig Veda does not support the Aryan invasion. Colonel Sir Ralph Edwin Hodgeskin Griffith translated the Reg Veda. Ralph T. H. Griffith was born at Corsley, Wilshire, on the 25th of May, 1826. Griffith translated the Vedic text into English. His translation of the Reg Veda follows the text of Max Muller, Sanskrit edition of the Reg Veda. Griffith based his translation on the work of Sayana who was prime minister at the 14th century court of the king of Vijayanagar, who lived in the state of Karnataka. In this video, I will cite hymns from the Rig Veda, translated by Ralph T. H. Griffin in 1896. The verses of the Reg Veda record armed cattle raids and warriors on horse-driven chariots attacking walled cities and forts in search of wealth. The Reg Veda tells the story of the Aryans who entered India to take away the wealth of the non-Aryan people. The Reg Veda portrays the invaders as a light-skinned race fighting the dark-skinned natives. In Book 1 of the Rig Veda, we hear about Indra, the leader of the Aryans. In verse 17, we hear, The Varsagairas unto thee, O Indra, the Mighty One, sing forth this law to please thee. Rajarajvas with his fellows, Ambarisa, Suradas, Sahadeva, Bhuayamana, he much invoked had slain Dasius and Simius after his rot and laid them low with arrows. The mighty thunderer with his fair complexion friends won the land, the sunlight, and the waters. 
In verse 19 we read, May Indra evermore be our protector, and unimperiled may we win the booty. This prayer of ours, Varana, grant a Mitra and Aditi and Sindhu, earth and heaven. This verse makes it clear that Indra was the leader of fair complexion warriors in search of booty. This is very important because the Hindutva, they try to claim that the Aryans did not have a racial character about them. But here we can see exactly from the words of the Rig Veda, the book of the Aryan people, that Indra was a leader of fair complexion warriors in search of booty. Let us talk about wars in North India between the Vedic and non-Vedic people who lived in Pura or Tripura. Pura or Tripura means walled cities or forts. In other words, the original inhabitants of India when the Aryans arrived on the scene lived in cities or forts to protect themselves from the barbarous invading Aryans. Thus the injury was called the Puramdar, Fort Destroyer. There's nothing in the Vedic literature that refers to South India. The battles between the Aryan and non-Aryan people took place in North India. The term used in the Reg Veda is Pur, meaning a rampart, fort, or stronghold. Indra, the Aryan god, is Puramdar, fort destroyer. Indra, he sends forth forts as age consumes a garment. In other words, he was a great warrior, and under his leadership, the Aryan people took many of the forts of the Indian people and made their wealth their own. The Arya called the dark-skinned native Indians Dasyu. In Ralph T. H. Griffin's translation of Reg Veda, of Book 2, Hymn 11, verse 18, we read, Thou hast disclosed the light to light the Arya on their left hand, O Indra, Saint the Dasyu. May we gain wealth subduing with you, Sakur, and the Aryas, all our foes, the Dasyus. This makes it clear that the Arya Vedic people were attacking the Dasa, or Dasyus, to steal their wealth and legacy. The presence of Indo-Aryan speakers in North illustrates their success. Reading the Reg Veda illustrates that the Dasa does not represent ignorance or barbarism. Dasa equals dark. Attaching the label Dasa to the southern Indians is a lie that many in a Hindutva like to claim. South Indians, Dravidians are not mentioned in the Vedic literature. The identification of Dravidians as Dasa is therefore an indication of the racialist ideas of many Aryan people. In Book 2, Hymn 11, we also read, we who add strength to thine own splendid vigor, laying within thine arms the splendid thunder. With us mayest thou, O Indra, wax and splendid with Surya, overcome the Dasa races. Hero, thou slewest in thy valor, Ahi, concealed in depths, mysterious, great enchanter. Dwelling enveloped deep within the waters, him who checked heaven and stayed the flows from flowing. In M11, book 2, verses 18, 19, we read, Hero, assume the might wherewith thou clavest Vritra, piecemeal the Danava, Ernavava. Thou hast disclosed the light to light the Arya on thy left hand. O Indra, sank the Disu. May we gain wealth subduing with thy succor, and with Arya, all our foes, the Disus. It's very important that we read in this verse that the Indo-Aryans saw the Dasyus not just as a foreign people, they saw them also as a different race. Book 3, hymn 34, verses 6-11, we read, 
They laud the mighty acts of him the mighty, the many glorious deeds performed by Indra. He in his strength with all surpassing power, prowess to wondrous arts cursed the malignant Dasius. Lord of the brave, Indra, who rules the people, gave freedom to the gods by might and battle. Wise singers glorify with chanted praises these his achievements in these Vasavan's dwellings. Excellent conqueror, the victory giver, the winner of the light and godlike waters, he who has won this broad earth and this heaven. Indra, they rejoice, who love devotion. He gained possession of the sun and horses. Indra obtained the cow who feedeth many. Treasure of gold he won. He smoked the disuse and gave protection to the Aryan color. He took the plants and days for his possession. He gained the forest trees and airs mid-region. Voila, he cleft and chased away opponents. Thus was he tamer of the overweening. Call me O Magavan, auspicious Indra, best hero in the fight where spoil is gathered. The strong who listen, who gives aid in battle, who slays the vitra, wins and gathers treasures. In summary, the Reg Veda supports the Aryan invasion theory. It shows that the Aryans were nomads who entered India to destroy the Dasas, Puras, or Tripuras, their walled cities or forts, so they could obtain booty. The Reg Veda supports the Aryan invasion theory.